So in this video, we are going to find the angle between these pairs of vectors. So the first two are in two dimensions and the second two are in three dimensions. Okay, but that shouldn't really make too much of a problem for us. So let's go with A first. We've got three, seven and one, five. So cosine theta is going to be equal to, so we need A dot B first. So that's three times one plus seven times five divided by the length of the two vectors so we've got the length of the first vector is going to be three squared plus seven squared and then times that by the length of the second vector which is one squared plus five squared okay so uh we've got uh What's that? Uh, 38 in the numerator. So 3 plus 35. And then we've got square root of 9 plus 49 times by the square root of 1 plus 25. And we get 2 root 377 in the denominator. So 38 divided by that. And then inverse cosine of that. We should get that the angle is 11.9 degrees to three significant figures. Okay? Much quicker, much easier than using cosine rule. Okay? Well, it's kind of like we are using the cosine rule, but just a slimmed down version of it, I guess. So part B, 8i uh, take away 5j and minus 3i plus 10j. So cosine theta is equal to, so first of all, we've got a dot b. So 8 times minus 3, it's then plus, so I'll put that in a bracket, plus minus 5 times 10, divided by the length of this vector. So the length of that vector is 8 squared plus negative 5 squared. And the length of this vector is minus 3 squared plus 10 squared. Right. So we've got 8 times minus 3, uh, take away 5 times 10, so minus 74 in the numerator. And then we've got 8 squared plus 5 squared times by the square root of 9 plus 100. Um, okay, not particularly nice. Okay, let's uh, do it another way. Um, 64 plus 25, then times that by 9 plus 100. So square root of 9701. Okay, so let, let me just check that that's all right. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay, so then we've got uh, minus 74 divided by the square root of 9701, and then inverse cosine of that. And we should get that the angle is 138.7 degrees. That's to one decimal place. Okay, it's 138.7 degrees in that case. All right. So let's trade it up to 3D now. So for C, we've got 8, 2, 1 and 1, 0, 7. So cosine theta is going to be equal to, so we've got 8 times 1, then plus 2 times 0, plus 1 times 7. That's your numerator. That's A dot B. Right, then we want the lengths of the two vectors. So we've got the square root of... 8 squared plus 2 squared plus 1 squared, square rooted. And then we've got the length of the second vector, 1 squared plus 0 squared plus 7 squared, square rooted. So in the numerator, we've got uh, 8 plus 7, so 15 over. Then we've got 8 squared plus 2 squared plus 1 squared. And then we're timesing that by 1 squared plus 7 squared. So we should get 5 
root 138 in the denominator. So 15 divided by that, and then square, not square root the answer. I'm not sure what I was doing there. 15 divided by 5 root 138. Let's try that again. And then we want to inverse cosine that answer. So we should get theta is 75.2 degrees to one decimal place. Okay, so um, doing cosine rule in three dimensions, it's not really that much harder than just doing it in two dimensions when you're using the scalar product. Okay, right, and then part D, let's do the last one. So um, cosine theta is equal to, so we'll have three times four, then plus minus two times minus one, so times by minus one, and then plus minus eight times by one. All over the length of the first vector, so three squared plus negative two squared plus negative eight squared, square rooted, and then we've got four squared plus negative one squared plus one squared, square rooted. So we've got 12 plus 2 take away 8, so 6 in the numerator. And in the denominator, we've got 3 squared plus 2 squared plus 8 squared times by 4 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared. So 1386 square root, that's 3 root 154. So 6 divided by that, and then inverse cosine of your answer, and we should get 80.7 degrees to one decimal place. OK, so that is how you can use the scalar product to find the angle between two vectors.